Hi guys, it's PS. Building three same items have been breaking our stereotype. Three IA Jin and recent five Doran Blades made your team to ping you a question mark. Indeed, up to three Doran Blades had a successful statistics which made pro players to reconsider the Doran builds, regardless of ridges. Thus, many players are creating new and unique builds. Today, we have a four cloaks of agility build. Lately, there are two types of cloaks build. First, getting IE or Stormraiser for the first item and rushing 3 cloaks, and second, rushing 3 or 4 cloaks before even having a first core item. Second build is very extreme like 5 Dwarven Blades Misfortune, and according to the stats, we obtain drags down the win rates, so we won't introduce nor recommend the build. However, first build has a positive statistics and logically makes sense. Let's get into it. We need to look into these three items. Storm Razor, Infinity Edge, and Rapid Fire Cannon. These are the three main items that a lot of ADCs build. These items have the following stats and unique passives, meaning that if you have these three items, you have a 75% crit chance, and an additional cloak will grant you 100% crits. With the additional cloak, there are many options to build such as Phantom Dancer or Static Shave, depends on the situation. The main point lies on very fast 100% crit rush. Make your AD with the first core item and get 3 additional cloaks to rush 100% crits rapidly. 3 cloaks only cost 2400 gold, about a cheap full item. For example, after building Storm Razor for the first item, if you consider building 3 cloaks with 2400 gold or rapid fire cannon with 2600 gold, think about the economy. You're considering 100% crits versus 50% crits with 30% attack speed and 5% movement speed with rapid fire cannon's unique passive. Which one will you pick? Comparing statistics of having 100% crits or not is not interpretable since it's comparing guaranteed crits versus possible no crits. You can't calculate the damage possibly. In other words, it's really up to your playstyle. Just like back in the days, you argued about whether to put 1% crit rune or not in your rune. Coming back to the point, we observed that having either a Storm Razor or Infinity Edge with 3 cloaks actually has a decent specs. Personally thinking, since the specs of Infinity Edge and Storm Razor is too good, then making 100% crits chance is compatible to building a second core item. Perhaps it explains the 4 cloaks build. In fact, we spectated a player who were experimenting this build in Grandmaster. Former KT player Gango also had a game with 4 cloaks gin but since it was rushing 4 cloaks without a first core item, we'll pass on this one. Champion is Caitlyn, typically building Storm Razor, Infinity Edge, and Rapid Fire Cannon. Recently, all of 6 Caitlyn games built Infinity Edge first, then rushed 3 cloaks. Building Infinity Edge is just as normal as Caitlyn, so we will focus on the moment with 3 cloaks. Indeed, the burst damage is unexpected. Also, there were many games where both ADCs were rushing 3 cloaks, which means a lot of high elo players are experimenting the build. This build does not grant you much of attack speed, so it's good to have attack speed on your room. Also, Caitlyn normally has the triumph since she doesn't have a mana issue, but Jin sometimes builds a Doran ring for the mana issue. If you are not comfortable with managing mana, then you can have Presence of Mind instead of Triumph. This is similar to Storm Razor Kai'Sa with Presence of Mind, which resolved the mana issue and incremented the win rates. Actually, most ADCs have pretty good stats with Presence of Mind instead of Triumph, so it is really up to your playstyle. You can test them out and see which makes you more comfortable in lane. As we mentioned, Caitlyn is one. The main point of the build is you do not have to sell cloaks unlike 5 Dorm Blades build, which had some inefficiency. However, after the update of crit items, you don't need to sell cloaks with this build. If your item slots are maxed out with Dorm Blade, Boots, First Core Item, 
and 3 cloaks, it may create just some weak moment due to CS losses or dying. But it's not the extreme if you consider how fast AD carries earn golds after second core item. Therefore, common crit build ADs such as Caitlyn and Jinx fit the criteria, especially Jinx considers Runa's Hurricane as well. Jin also fits well with the build due to his passive. Indeed, Jin has the most number of games with 4 cloaks build. As we compared 3 additional cloaks in Rapid Fire Cannon in the beginning, Jin can rather build 4 cloaks and gain movement speed from his passive. Let's watch a gameplay of 4 cloaks Jin. Finally, let's look into the statistics. This build started to be popular more than a week ago, but it took a while to gather the data to complete the video. Based on 580,000 games in Korea's server, we got the following data. First of all, this build is considered among Jin, Caitlyn, and Jinx. Especially about 3-4% of Jinx and Jin players consider this build. These champions are more efficient with this build since Jin gains extra movement speeds from his passive, and Jinx builds Runa's Hurricane, Rapid Fire Cannon, Phantom Dancers, which are relatively cheap and becomes unstoppable when she snowballs and scales. Other champions do not have meaningful number of games, so you can just take this as a reference. Look at the win rate underscore diff, which indicates how much the win rate changed with 4 cloaks build. As you see, most champions tend to have higher win rates with the build. Jin had 6-8% point increase in win rates, as well as 6-10% point increment on Jinx and 3-4% point on Caitlyn. Of course, if unpracticed players contribute to the data, these measurements may drop. However, it still opens up an opportunity to build another way to Jinx, Jin, and Caitlyn players. Today, we introduced 4 cloak build ADs and discussed how effective it is. It honestly is a possible build option and worth to try on Jin and Jinx. Hopefully this video helped you and please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.